Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be putting that Predator engine, hopefully, hopefully here on this Dirty Hand Tools, a company that has since gone out of business, Chipper Shredder. I need to chip up and shred a lot of bark and little pieces of wood that end up here in our house from firewood or whatever. So I can put it in the composter and we can have a little bit of wood material in with our compost and to create a little bit of mulch. So the problem here is that this engine has been run without an air filter. So it needs to be replaced with a new engine. That's where the Predator 212 comes in. I'm really hoping it'll fit. I'm a little bit worried it won't. All right, I'm not 100% sure, but I do think that the first thing I need to do before I start unbolting the engine from the shredder itself is I need to take all these bolts around the outside of it off. I think we're just about done. Yep, we're done. We can pull this thing off now. I think anyway. I think it's gonna be a little bit more difficult pulling this sucker off this than it is to uh, actually remove this assembly from the rest of the shredder. Uh, basically, for those of you that might be watching this for, you know, wanting to actually know how to do this, I pretty much just removed all the bolts around the outside of this. Um, I think these things are pretty universal. I'm sure, you know, you can slap different uh, manufacturer can choose to slap different mo motors on them and stuff, but they all pretty much come out of China with Chinese motors. The next thing I think I got to do is take this bolt out because I'm pretty sure this is what's securing this to the drive shaft. I'm crossing my fingers that the drive shafts are the same size because I don't know how big this drive shaft actually is. All right, hopefully this is a little easier to take apart than a lot of things attached to the drive shaft I've messed with recently. Nice, that broke free nice and easy. All right, so this is definitely gonna be the most challenging part is getting this thing off. I've whacked it with a hammer, put pry bars in there. I soaked it down with some uh, penetrating oil and it's actually coming pretty easy. So I better get my arm out of the way. What I had to do is, you see this little green thing, it's a punch running in there because it's a real small hole. And I just had to line everything up, keep it all tight. And like I said, it's coming pretty easy. punch. Now I can start installing the engine from the rest of it. All right, so I've got two problems here. Number one being, if you notice how, how flat the exhaust is here to the rest of the engine and how not flat here the exhaust is the rest, to the rest of the engine on the replacement motor, I think I'm gonna try and swap these out before it's a problem. Uh, the other thing is I've got a three quarter inch diameter shaft there versus a one inch diameter shaft there. So I'm already gonna have to buy an adapter. All 
All right, everybody, so here's the deal. I had to fabricate this part. It's just a one inch piece of pipe. I stuck it here on this brush, which is just a, I think a three quarter inch, if I remember right, three quarter inch wire brush for cleaning copper. And I cut the end off of it, the little handle off of it, put it in the drill. I took this and some 40 grit sandpaper, and I just held the sandpaper and spun it in it until it got down to size. Where it'll fit in here on the cutting plate, I think I'll probably call it, it's probably got some other kind of name, but the cutting plate is what I'll call it. Um, so yeah, I think it's pretty much ready to slip in there, and I think I got everything just right dialed in. Probably wasn't enough. Now, it slid in. Good enough, hopefully it won't be too hard to pull out if I have to pull it out again, because it doesn't. it's not quite the right size. But anyway, I think I'm uh, pretty much ready to reassemble this guy and uh, hopefully it'll work. The little spacer I made uh, keeps the spacing correct uh, inside of this drum and I thought I had it about right but turns out I was a couple of millimeters too big. I heard it hitting when I got everything all bolted down. I heard uh, one of the, I can't remember what they're called, the chopping blades. Um, one of these guys, if you can see it on the camera. I heard one of these guys hitting the uh, other side of the um, of the chipper shredder. I wish I knew what the exact names of these parts were, but basically where this mounts up, this fits inside of a little cavity on the other side of the whole chipper shredder. And I was just tapping. It, was so, it wasn't even enough that I couldn't pull it. I could still pull it. It was just hitting just a little bit. So I hope I shrunk it up just enough that uh, I can put it back together now and uh, nothing will hit and I can get to work with it. The only other thing Assuming this works, all I'll have to do is fabricate a new exhaust pipe. Um, I had to go buy an exhaust pipe here uh, to hopefully make some adjustments to it to get it to work because this has such a bad angle. It's going to be kind of a mess. I'm not, I'm, I'm kind of dreading it, but uh, that'll, that'll be the last part is getting that muffler uh, welded together there. All right, now that I've done this a couple times, I find it easiest to lay it on its back like this. And of course, it's up here on my hydraulic cart. Try not to hurt yourself or break anything. And just set it on top. Like this. Fold some of these cutting teeth in. Because they're getting caught. I think we're about there. There we go. Now I just gotta line the holes up and put her together. Should be enough to give me some idea of how it's going to work. 